Hey guys, and welcome to my first Dollar Tree haul from May 2018. This is actually a combined haul from two stores, and I actually managed to go to both stores on the same day. I was already planning to hit up the Dollar Tree in Brampton, that's the closest store to me, but then I thought, I know there's a couple of other Dollar Trees in Brampton, so maybe I'll take a trip out to one of those. And I did. The new store I went to is not quite as big as the Meadowvale store, but it's bigger than the Brampton store I usually go to and much cleaner, and it's actually about 10 minutes closer than the Meadowvale store, so that was quite a lovely discovery. I ended up buying quite a bit more than I had expected to, and yet I still haven't found all of the new stickers. I still haven't found any of the mason jar stickers or the pop-up stickers with the sentiments, or a lot of the stickers I've seen people hauling lately, and yet somehow that still didn't stop me from buying a ton of stuff. Starting with the groceries, they didn't have my bread at either store, but at the new store they had these coffee and cream bagels, and I bought them just out of complete curiosity. I didn't even think to smell them until I got home, but they smell really good. They smell more sweet than coffee, so I'm hoping they taste as good as they smell. I found yet another tube of the nacho cheese Pringles tortillas. I thought they were totally out, but then I randomly found two sitting in the dishware aisle. <laughs> the new store had the chocolate happy's wing! The closer Brampton store still hasn't put any out, so I was glad to grab a pack at this store. I picked up a box of these Fiber One chocolate cheesecake bars, and in hindsight I probably should have grabbed two, because they'll probably be really good. The chocolate chip Fiber One bars that I got at Dollarama a little while ago were delicious, but the squares are really small, so it was definitely not worth the $2.50 I paid at Dollarama. $1.25 at Dollar Tree is much more reasonable. I grabbed two of these Slim Fast chocolate shakes to try. They're larger than the Special K protein shakes and they have four more grams of protein in them, so I thought I'd check them out. Since I've been getting into the sparkling water thing lately, I decided to try out the Nestle brand, so I picked up one bottle of the lime flavor and one of the mandarin orange. I found these peanut butter Rolos, to which I reacted with an I don't know how I feel about that, and yet somehow they still ended up in my cart. And actually I just realized I thought they were going to be peanut butter and caramel, but it looks like looking at the package it's just peanut butter, so that should be pretty awesome. And finally I picked up one of these Brookside bars with dark chocolate, almonds, and maple and espresso flavors. I ended up getting quite a few items for my kitchen, starting with two of the microwave egg cookers. I've seen multiple people raving about these, and if I can make myself some eggs without having to make a complete mess of my kitchen, I'm all for it. So we'll see how that goes. I picked up a package of wine stoppers because I rarely drink wine that has an actual cork in it. But when I do, like I did last weekend, I am suddenly reminded that I have no way to close the bottle. <laughs> Unlike last summer, I actually got the Dollar Tree early enough to pick up some dishware that I will actually use in the new prints. The only print I really liked enough to buy anything this year was this sea turtle print. So I bought two of these bowls two of these plates, and two of these plates, which are from the same collection but a different part of the print, which I thought was cool. And then I also had to get this two-pack of plastic cups because it's got last year's summer print on it, and I love that print, and I will always buy more of it if I see it. I didn't think I was going to pick up any of the Canada Day decor this year, but I just fell in love with this one when I saw it and had to get it. I caved and picked up the donut tote bag, even though I'm not a huge fan of these kinds of bags. I prefer my reusable shopping bags to be sturdier, which is why I usually get them at the liquor store, but this one was just too cute to pass up. I got a bunch of Pokemon cards, since after getting that bag of 145 of them at the thrift store, I'm now low-key obsessed. I picked up another pack of the April Bath and Shower Body Wash, Lotion, and Shampoo in Vanilla Sugar. I ended up coming home with three new magnets. This was the one I was absolutely on the lookout for, because the phrase, I'm in shape, round as a shape is something I say semi-frequently about myself, so I knew I had to get this one. Then I also got the Don't Worry, Be Happy magnet, and this one that says How to Handle Stress Like a Dog. If you can't eat it or play with it, then pee on it and walk away. <laughs> and now on to the crafty items. I grabbed another pack of baby wipes for stamp cleaning purposes. I found these 1.25 inch book rings that I don't think I've seen before. I'm pretty sure the rings I bought a while ago were either 1 inch, 1.5 inch, or 2 inch. But since I'm not entirely sure, I just picked up two packs for now. I got three rolls of the Jot double-sided tape, because I'm finding that double-sided tape is best for making my tags. Yes, I am still working on my tags. 
or at least for making the tag bases, I find wet glue can get messy and you have to wait for it to dry before you can do anything else with the tag, and glue runners can be a little harder to control on small weirdly shaped things. So originally I was going to pick up more of the Scotch brand tape, which is what I've been using, but those rolls only have 3.6 yards of tape on them and these have 8 yards, so obviously this was the better deal. I found two more rolls of washi tape, the cute animal one and the cactus and fruit one. I still, for the life of me, cannot find the music note or the blue paisley washi, and it's making me very, very sad. Both stores randomly had the occasional Christmas item buried in the craft sections, including this Winter Wonderland 6x6 paper pad. I'll do a quick flip through here. I picked up two of the teal mini binders to play around with and just see what I can cook up. And finally, stickers! I somehow still managed to pick up a metric ton of stickers despite not being able to find a lot of the ones that I was looking for. I grabbed this big sheet of multicolored gems. These really cute 3D animal stickers that I don't think I bought before. But if I did, oh well, now I have two. I did manage to find some of the new stickers on my list, including these pink 3D stickers. I got two sets of those. I got one set of the cactus stickers and two sets of these summer stickers that I was starting to think I was hallucinating over because I hadn't seen them anywhere, but I could have sworn I'd seen them. I got these chalkboard effect stickers, and I think I saw Dana from Dana's Dollar Tree Hauls have this problem with this exact set. Where the packaging isn't sealed and it comes out on its own on the side. <laughs> that seems to be a flaw with all of them. And then I picked up a few new vintage stickers, including this home and family set this nature set and I grabbed two of these forever stickers because I just thought they were gorgeous and that's it for this haul I definitely picked up more than I was expecting to which is a little scary considering how many more stickers I still need to find if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up give it a share subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click that little bell in the corner to be notified when I next upload a video and I will see you guys in the next one